Don't apologize to the food. I mean, I am a snack. I take that back. Thank you, Theo. I am a snack. We're back again to play some games. We're back with Ikiman Vampire. And last time, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I really don't remember what happened last time. We learned that Leonardo da Vinci wrote backwards in mirror, mirror form or something like that. Uh, <laughs> is that the biggest thing I remember? Um, uh, yeah, I can't remember anything. <laughs> Before we start, I want to give a shout out to another one of my subscribers. This one is XX Gotcha Wolf XX. Thank you so much for watching all my videos. I really appreciate it. Leonardo, Chapter 6. Please do not trip me up with hard words, game. Please do not. Leonardo and I were alone. I looked at him. I'd like to ask you a question, Leonardo. Go ahead. What was the point of bringing me here? That's your question. Yeah. Answer it, please. Do we explain it yesterday? We're supposed to spend time together so that others believe we're in love. Me counting the number of books on the shelves while you fix a gramophone? I was counting books? That's boring. <laughs> the heck? What was the point of that? Me counting the number of books on the shelves while you fix a gramophone? Doesn't seem very lovey-dovey. That's not how it works at all. See, we're so in love, we can't bear to be apart. Even when one of us is working, we need to stay in the same room. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what that works. It makes sense like, when he puts it that way. Hold on, are you leaving? What about our passionate need to be in the same room? But I'm done here. I'll call you if something else comes up. Be ready. Boy, I swear. He's just the door to the study. Me and him are going to be boxing one day. <laughs> we really are. It's impossible to be ready for you. I guess I should make sure all the parts of the gramophone stay together, so... He had already put it back together. When did he do that? Leonardo had reassembled it faster on his own than he and Isaac had assembled it. Even time seemed to dance to his tune. I couldn't blame time for falling victim to Leonardo. His spell still worked on me. And since I can't break the spell, I'll just have to do a better job at hiding from him. It was a large mansion. Surely he wouldn't. Hiding in the garden shed, Carm? I can do better than that. I know I can hide from him. Well, I'm taking a cab and going to town. Go away! <laughs> Called again. I'm sure he wouldn't find me if I hid outside the mansion. So what are we doing this time? You'll see. I looked up at him. Once more, trapped in that gentle but unbreakable grip. An unlit cigarillo rested between his lips. Please don't smoke near me. And no smoke in the garden either, Leonardo. You're going to set the flowers on fire. We're here. <coughs> We're here. Sorry we kept you waiting, Leonardo. Lauren. Isn't it cute that both of our names start with an L? Um, don't apologize to the food. I mean... I am a snack. I take that back. Thank you, Theo. I am a snack. Don't apologize to the food, Vincent. Vincent and Theo? Vincent carried a large canvas under one arm. Theo followed him with an easel. Oh, we're having a painting day? A painting date? Is that what we're doing? They set up in the grass. The Vincent smiled at me. His big blue eyes warm thanks for wait a minute I agreed to be a model or did Leonardo agree for me <laughs> thanks for agreeing to model for me Lauren I did what say what now I never agreed to that 
but I think I know who did. Leonardo grinned, a roguish grin. Been a while since Vincent wanted to paint a portrait. Thought you'd be a perfect for it. Thought you'd be perfect for it. You could have told me first. Oh no, you didn't know? Lauren, is this any trouble for you? If it is, no, it's just that. You got some nerve to complain. Uh, somebody told me how I say that. <laughs> Give me one second. Nobble, Nobble 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 Shout out to, um, Boom Skitty for helping me with that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nobble I'm guessing. Nobble 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 I don't know how Dutch sounds, so Nobble G, Nobble J. Something, someone give that to me. Give me a point for that. <laughs> you got some nerve to complain, Nobble G. Nobble J. This is a promotion for you. Normally, we stuff you in a bowl with the other fruit. I hope you feel special. He's called me a fruit. I hate all of you, except Vincent. I didn't say I wouldn't do it. Of course I'll be your model, Vincent. Anything to help. Really? Thanks, Lauren. Who could refuse a face like that? Then let's get started. You need help taking off your- Leonardo. It's me on you. It's me and you. On sight. On sight. Don't let me ever catch you slipping. Then let's get started. You need help taking off your clothes, Carmia? What? <laughs> Classical subjects are outdated. The art world needs challenge and painting a nude novelty would really shock the public. You should shock the model. Yeah, uh, I don't actually need a nude model for the picture I'm thinking of. Vincent and I gasped and gawped, gawped in unison, prompting a laugh from the other two. See, maybe me and Vincent should have got together. Maybe I should have chose his route. I tease. <laughs> it was worth it. If he's already dead, do you think anyone would mind if I killed him? <sighs> I know if I punch, I want to punch him, but I know he'll probably catch it. But I need to try. I need to try. Oh, I thought we were going for the face. I punched Leonardo on the shoulder. Ow, ow, that hurts Carmia. He says while laughing. Oh, there's the guy hidden. <laughs> You're right, Leonardo. It was worth coming out to see this. I'm beginning to enjoy playing with my food. I know I'm a snack, but not yours. Enough! Evening provides no escape from Leonardo's random outings, either. Hiding again, Carmia? Why do I keep getting found? You like me carrying you in my arms that much? Yes, that's why I'm hiding. If you insist, up we go. Next, oh, the nice piano. Oh, is this the room that uh, Mozart likes to be in? Next time, I'm going to hide by breaking myself into the wall. <laughs> Let's see him find me that way. Oh, who am I kidding? He would. What are we doing tonight? Leonardo sent me down in the piano room where a beautiful grand piano stood. What's good, Mozart? I haven't seen you in ages. And Dazai, how you doing? You wrote anything new? Any sequel to, uh, Become Human or something like that? <laughs> I'm stupid. I need to stop. <laughs> Sitting on the bench was equally beautiful pianist Mozart. That's I hung nearby. They both looked troubled. As you can tell from their faces, they both reach a creative impasse. Oh, good evening. Toshiko-san? Toshi Toshiko-san? Who are you talking to? My name- Oh, you know my name. My name is Lauren. Actually, 
Just getting my name wrong is a refreshing change of pace from the last few days' annoyance. I'll try and help them. You two aren't feeling very creative? I'm working on a new short story. I'm working on a new short story, you see. And just that, well, sometimes the well runs dry. I came here for inspiration. Only to find Mokun is the Icarus to the... Here we go, here we go. <laughs> just to find out Mokun is the Icarus to my Daedalus, Daedalus trap with him. <sighs> Only to find Mokun is the Icarus to my Daedalus. Trap with me in this labyrinth known as Ryder's Block. You're not my father. But I am feeling stuck right now. The Taisho era writer, Dazai Osumu, his tales were a mix of the fantastic and real life. I'm not sure what would inspire him. As for Mozart, he didn't just compose for the piano, but for a whole orchestra. He wrote symphonies and operas. It seems to me that they're both artists who create straight from the heart. It must be exhausting work, emotionally. I've played the piano. I played piano in the past, and I've written from my blog. But that's probably my biggest connection with them. I'll try and help if you think I can. I thought you would say that. It's because I'm kind. Leonardo's response made me regret opening my mouth. It was too late to take it back, though, as he took what I said and rolled with it. When you get stuck. What you need is to change the pace. But this advice is nothing new to us, to all of us. Just hard to practice. Yes, that's what I was hoping to find. Is there nothing that can bring light into the joyless void known as life? Has all the magic left the world? All hope? Boy, it's not that deep. <laughs> Calm down. That's how I looked at Mozart. Leonardo looked at me. I've got it. Lauren, sing something for us. Mozart will play for you. But does it look like I can sing? Because I can't. You want me to sing? Why should she? How does that help me? Does I perked up a little too quickly. And given the uh, abyssal altitude he feigned earlier? Mokan, play that fun little song you play at night. The one that goes, hmm, 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 hmm. My variations on Ah Vaust. Oh, isn't that the one that's used as the base to all of those children's songs? Yeah, I can see any of those if you like. All those children's songs. It was just a... Mm-hmm. When I arranged it. I might be able to remember that one, too. It was thanks to your arrangement that so many versions came out. Really? Twinkle, yeah, I was about to say ABC because uh, ABC, the ABCs have the same tune as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and then I don't know Ba 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 Black Sheep. I never learned that one. We wouldn't have those if it wasn't for Mozart's composition. Well, tell me how they go. You want me to? I have to know if they ruined my song. Sing, I'll play for you. Mozart's fingers aligned on the keys and suddenly the room was filled with sound. Yeah, I like that. Each note brought a sense of life and light to the room. His playing was warm, playful. Before I knew it, I was singing along. His music shifts to match my voice. We ran through all the lyrics I knew. Hmm, you're decent. I thought it was moving. I thought it was a moving performance. The lyrics, the Sachi-san's beautiful voice. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. It's thanks to that that I remembered. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. It's thanks to that that I remembered. Remembered what? That short story I was working on. I finished it last night. Boy, I'd forget my head if it wasn't attached. Get out. Why you say that? 
It's nice to have a little company now then. Yes, Mozart? Did Leonardo plan this? Was this a scheme to help Mozart, who was always clustered, cloistered in the music room? Had he and Dazai conspired to involve me somehow? Now I'm inspired. What to do? What to do? Maybe I'll play something. Neko Fu Fujata. Neko Fujata? Fujata? Oh, you call it Dara oh, I'm done. Don't touch my piano. <laughs> Relax. Do like I do. Leonardo nonchalantly pulled out one of his smokes. Mozart turned to him. Don't even think about smoking here. The smoke clings to the instruments. I'm overthinking it. Leonardo, the perfect storm, secretly thoughtful? No, right? Um, this one was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> Leonardo, please. These chapters were a lot of fun because Leonardo was taking me everywhere. He was trying to disturb my peace every second he got. <laughs> And I tell you, we're gonna end up fighting one day. We really are, me and him. I already got one hidden. I'm already winning. But uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Dangerous Fellows. Go check that out because that's that's reaching the climax. It's almost done, and I feel like things are about to go down. <laughs> Okay, um, make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe. You follow me on my social media, it's in the description below. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.